Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 133. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 133 to 145. Hey, Trick 133, we're going to talk about CSV data. That means comma separated values. And oftentimes you can export from all sorts of other programs, whether it's a database or an accounting program, or even um, Word or Excel. Um, and it's great because then you can export it as CSV and then import it into something like Excel. So although some other programs may not be able to speak with Excel, it, you can save, uh, create a CSV file and then import it. I'm going to show you three ways. Uh, First, we're going to actually copy some CSV data from a Word document and paste it into our Excel workbook. I'm going to go over to Windows Explorer, and I have some files here. I'm going to open this one right here, and uh, we get this um, comma. It's, it's not a. It's just a dot doc file, but in here we have the field name separated by commas and all the. Uh, data element separated by columns in each row is a record. So I'm going to control A to select it all and then control C to copy. And then I'm going to alt tab to go back over to Excel. I'm going to insert a new sheet. The keyboard shortcut for inserting a new sheet is shift F11. That works in all versions. I'm going to double click it and call it data1. Now I'm going to paste it in um, cell A1, control V. And there we have it. Now notice um, we have 514 records with some field names in the top. Everything's still highlighted, and all, you, all we need to do is text to column. Now in uh, 2007, you go to the data ribbon, text to column. In 2003, you go to the data menu, text to column. This opens up the convert text columns wizard. It says, is the uh, data delimited or fixed width? This means the uh, same width for each column. And this means separated by some character. Hey, we have a comma separating. So there it is. You can have tabs or uh, any other type of character. I'm going to click Next. Notice the, the preview here, right? Click Next. Um, oh, it looks like I already had comma selected, but usually it comes up with tab here. You just click on comma. Notice when we do that, here's the data. We click on comma, and instantly it shows us a preview. That's pretty awesome. All right. Um, click, and if you have other characters, you can just check this and then type whichever character it is. Click Next. You can import or choose to not import. So you could click on one of these columns and say, do not import. Or you could format it. In general, general works pretty well. It'll take uh, dates and make them dates, numbers and make them numbers with uh, format. <coughs> so I'm going to select that. The only uh, one useful trick here is if you get dates imported as text, you can actually use this and click on this, and it will change them to dates. So that's fine to have general. And here's our destination. And then we click Finish. And just like that. We have all of our data. Now, let's uh, insert a new sheet, Shift F11. And I'm going to call this Data 2. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Or actually, let's go ahead and try that. We're going to import that. Um, this was a Word document, right? But now we're going to, from inside of Excel, import. Uh, and if we go over to Windows Explorer, we can see that we have this uh, text data.text. If we double click and open it up, you can see it's just the same thing but in a uh, text extension file type. I'm going to close that. And now I'm going to go to data. And then we need to get external data. I have notes in uh, this little sheet here for how to do this in 2003. But it's basically data menu, get external data, and from text. And now we're going to go find that file. I have to navigate to wherever it is. And there it is. I'm going to double click. And sure enough, we see this uh, text import wizard. Same thing, but with a different uh, title at the top here as that one we saw earlier. Delimited, because we have commas. Started import row, that's fine. And we have our preview here. Click Next. Comma, that remembered that from before. 
click Next, and we'll say General, click Finish. It says, where do you want to save it? Right there. I'm going to click OK, just like that. Now, one other method uh, that we can use, let's go over and look at um, this, these files, right? Um, sometimes, actually, you get can save as in Excel, right? And it saves it as a CSV. If that's the case, you can just open this, double click and open it. That's an Excel file. And see the extension right there? You can then hit um, F12, which is save as, and then uh, change the extension here to whatever you want, XLS, for instance. Save as. We got their data XLS and click Save. And sure enough, now we have that workbook there. So that's uh, a third method. Let's look at a uh, fourth method. And this will involve using open. Remember, we have this uh, text right here. You can actually just open it. Watch this. I'm going to Control N for New, and then Control O for Open. And uh, the trick here is we want to say file types. And you click the drop down arrow and say all. That way you can actually open it. And so we see this right here. And we double click and open it. And it opens up the uh, text wizard. So delimited, next, comma, next, uh, general, and then finish. And so there it is, uh, data.text. And uh, Let's save as and change this to uh, XLS. And I'm going to call this data2. So there you have it. There's uh, some methods of how to deal with uh, CSV data for trick 133. All right, we'll see you next trick.